What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel. And today we have a really cool story because we're talking to somebody with an absolutely incredible story. And right here we have Brian and his son Solomon. Solomon, who just recently turned 10, but he took the SAT at nine. Uh, recently scored an incredible, at nine years old, scored an incredible 750 on the math section, which was which was unbelievable. And they reached out to me to talk about it. And they've been getting press coverage all over the place. It's, it's been wild, uh, as, as he should be, because it, it really is an incredible story. And the reason why they reached out to me is because they use Scalar Learning YouTube channel, which is super cool that I'm super excited about. So I want to ask them and talk to them a little bit about their journey. And first, I want to rewind. Tell me a little bit, because you obviously love math. You've been doing all sorts of amazing things. I think even in kindergarten, you had figured out how to draw the unit circle, which is which is beyond remarkable. So tell, tell us a little bit about how this all began. When I was like uh, one, I... I just loved like counting, so I I counted to a hundred when I was one year old, and uh, it it just took off. What is it about numbers that you find so fun? Is it is it the computations, like like adding stuff up or doing doing the arithmetic, or did you just always find like yeah? T- tell me a little bit about what's what's so fun about math and numbers for you. I like doing like multiplying big numbers and like multiplying brackets stuff i also find it fun because like it like there's a lot of things you can do after you learn math like computer programming and i i'm actually interested in computer programming too so i see so math for you is is your vehicle into programming and like building different what do you want to build by the way what type of things like like maybe like video games. I'm just curious to know because I know that you are homeschooled, and and I know in one of the interviews you said it's great because I get to do as much math as I want, which was super cool to to hear to hear you say that. But like, how much math work or practice do you say you put in on average per day? On an average day, like twenty minutes, but mm-hmm. like uh, on some days I do like up to like two hours. I just blew through algebra two and geometry. I did, I did like 10% of it each day. So I got done with it pretty fast. So you basically did algebra two in, in is that right? Like around 10 days, like a little under two weeks? Yeah, something like that. Wow, that's amazing. And then what, like, okay, that's amazing. And I'm, I'm still processing that. So when you, so you did 10% per day out of a textbook or was it an online course or how, how did you do that? No, I, I just use Khan Academy because Khan Academy is fun. Like it's online and like, I like answering the questions like uh, on the computer. Especially. Yes. I got you. And then when did you, what was the, when did you decide that you wanted to take the SAT? Like, tell me about that process. So uh, my dad, like, gave, my, my dad noticed I was doing, like, really good in math. And then he gave me an SAT uh, practice. And I did really good. So I said, like, hey, let's just sign him up for the real thing. And then I did, like, a ton more SAT practice tests. And uh, your channel was really helpful, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just did t- a lot more. And... Left a lot. And I will throw in another thing. He didn't he didn't quite say it enough, but it's true that uh, I don't think he would have been comfortable taking the, the test if he, or some of these practice ones if he didn't watch your videos because he loves watching YouTube videos. Um, you're like one of the top channels that um, was just fun to watch for math. And once he saw you going through the problems, I think it gave him a comfort level to do a lot of the problems himself. And he just realized, wow, like this isn't really that bad. And, um, you know, he was able to, to blow through a lot of it pretty, pretty well. What was it about my channel or my videos, maybe that, that were that you did find helpful or fun or what, you know, what was it for you? Uh, when I saw you break down like the hard questions into like the simple algorithms, it just really helped uh, me with really hard questions. What did you find to be the most useful video and why? I think it was the, uh, the hardest math questions for the SAT. It was just like, like now that I know like how to solve like the hardest math questions ever taken, well, something like, um, uh, it just helped me um, deal with uh, the other hard questions that, that were actually on the SATs. So. For 
other people who are interested in maybe improving their SAT scores and in getting their math up because you've done so well. And it sounds like probably if you took it again, it sounds like you could probably get an 800. But what would be your advice to other people who are studying? What would you recommend they do? What would you, you know, how much time to put in, et cetera? So, I mean, like uh, the three top tips I have are uh, always remember to check your work, especially on the hard questions. Um, on the on the questions that are really easy, I'll always remember to look through the words to make sure you're not missing anything, and watch the videos on your channel. <laughs> so obviously, there's a lot of nerves that that come when you take a standardized test like the SAT, and that's going to be natural, especially for for older kids. Like, but you obviously were able to manage that and succeed despite probably sitting around all these older kids. Maybe it was intimidating. How did you do it? And what's your advice to other people who are also dealing with nerves? Oh, well, my advice is to like, just remember that it's going to be fine no matter what score you get. Just uh, remember not, not to like worry too much or else like, and get enough sleep, get enough sleep. That's, that's really important. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. This was incredible. And guys, I hope you can appreciate this incredible story. Again, his name is Solomon. You guys should check him out. Uh, his story is going everywhere right now. So I'm sure you're going to uh, see him pop up in the news all over the place. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.